Hello guys, Matthew Moss right here, and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create particle fields within Adobe After Effects CC. This will also work in CS6 because they're very similar in design, and probably some earlier versions than that, but I haven't tested it on those. So let's jump right in. Now, an example of a particle field is like what I used in my last video, the Crystal Empire Cinematic Trail. Now, if we remove the title and the blur, uh, you just see the particle system at work and that's what I'm going to te teach you how to use today so first let's create a composition we're just going to go up with the industry standard 24 frames per second for the example of this video so now we jump right in now if you're already familiar somewhat familiar with After Effects then you should be already be familiar with the UI so first of all we're going to want to create a new layer so new we want a solid layer so we click on solid now it doesn't really matter what you set to this so we're just going to say okay now this step is entirely optional but i find that it gives a much better effect when it's just a particle system by itself so we're first want to go and find a gradient effect for this part we want a gradient ramp so we just drag that in and it'll be greeted like to this now for the example let's just have let's see a thing no uh, let's go with that leading to a black background and we want and when you see ramp shape we're going to want to go click on that from linear ramp and we want a radial ramp right here so we will select that now you click on the top where the ramp is and you can see you can just move around and mess around with it so you but let's put that in the center for the example of this video and that's basically your radial ramp done i'm just going to lock this down just in case i'm actually muck it up now we want to put another solid in. Now this is important what color you want this as because this will be what the particle system will use most likely depending on what um, effect you want it to be emitting. So we want this to be, let's see, let's go with an orangey color, shall we? Now we're gonna now this is part of the optional, but let's rename this to particle so we know what this is. Now this wouldn't be very effective, so now we want a particle weld um, simulation. So we click on this and then we drag it here and it'll be greeted with this. Now if we play this right now, this is what you'll be essentially getting. And this is not the desired effect we want. So, first of all, let's remove the guidelines. So, you, and all that. So, you're going to click on grid and guidelines, and then we're just going to select, deselect all of these grid, horizontal axis box. Now, you just be left with this. So, next, so the next step will be to, um, for me, to disable the physics, the gravity. So, we're going to click on physics here. And we're going to see on the gravity, we're going to set that to zero. But now it's like that. We'll mess around with that in a minute. But now we want to go into producer. And we can mess up. We, now if you want the particle somewhere else, we can just mess around with that. But since we want it in the center for this example, we're just going to leave the positions as they are. We're going to want to mess with the radius. So we want that widen that height and we can put how far apart we want it so now if we create a camera so new camera use and we just have it like that you will see um that this is being rendered in the uh three-dimensional space right here but we don't want this here this is just for demonstration purposes so it's this essentially being rendered in the three-dimensional space, which can be used useful for other purposes. Now we want to go to click on particles. We're going to close down for 
huge tournaments because we don't need it. This is where you can select what part of the pack. So we have a line. So let's set this to, um, I don't know, try polygon. And now we see what we have here. Now let's slow down, put the velocity by zero right now. So this is what you have. Now if we go back to physics, we can select what animation we want. So here we can have different types of direction axis where you can actually direct it where you want it to go. So like here, and you don't want to mess with the f no. But if we have a look at it now, you can see it's still as it was. That's because there's no velocity to it, so it's not doing anything. So we're going to want to change this to at the moment 0 0.01. Now if we play this, see it's slowly moving. So we're gonna want to increase that bit. And you can see, uh, now we can just mess around with this here. So have it like that. Which actually looks pretty nice actually. But we would have to mess with that. But I think it would look much better if, if we did that, if we um, went back to producer and then have that set to like various with like a longer like that. But you can see that we have just created a new particle system. Now you, there's like tons of effects you can go with. Um, Cone axis, I haven't tried that yet. Then there's like prefix like trolley, explosive, jet sideways, and like these, so, and fire. Now fire is like a, kind of like a snaky kind of effect with anything different than probably, most likely, probably shade sphere or something. I haven't had enough chance to mess around with it yet. But if we want to go just to twirly, then we can see that that's that. Now we can also mess around with how many can be generated at a time. That's what birth rate is, is to tell how many particles to emit at a time. Now this can be as few as probably 0.1 to up to quite high actually, I think considering. But So you might want to mess that depending on what you need it for. But you also would have to mess around. See, it, this is like a trial and error thing, but you get the idea. This is very a very useful asset. But let's put this down to say 0.5. How, how does that look? I'm going to also set this to quarter because. Really, uh, if you wanted to use After Effects, you should be using anything more than 16 gigs, which I really don't have. But let's put that to point 0.75. What happens if we do that? Point eight, okay. So that's back to direction axis. Because that looks nice. Now, we, we can just leave that there, but to give the part of it a bit more pop, we're going to want to add a glow effect. So, we're just going to type glow here and It'll be on the stylized, so we drag that in, and already you can see how much brighter it is. We can now mess around with this. So let's say over here we want this to be um, orange. Or something. Let's put this back to half for a moment, and then we want this to be um, white. Again, you have to mess around with this a bit, but now we can just say we do it like that. And you can see, like, if we disable this, you can see that there is a bit of gradience to it. So let's bring up the intensity a bit. So, so now if we look what we have. Okay, let's downsize that just so we can see it 
but you can see now that it's basically done it you can now add blurs titles whatever you need to do with it I'll wind out this in full resolution for the sake of the tutorial but that's basically how you create particle fields within Adobe After Effects so hope this helps you and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video peace